There are three mistakes that are easy to make that can increase the share dilution from your convertible notes and safes. In this video, I'll talk about what those mistakes are and what you can do to avoid them. Hi, I'm Steve Morris, and I use this Startup SOS channel to provide practical how-to advice for first-time entrepreneurs. So today, mistakes you should avoid that can increase your dilution. Mistake number one is getting surprised by how many convertible securities you've got, whether those are notes or safes, and how much dilution that's going to cause you when it converts in a priced round. What can you do to avoid that problem? Simple. Track your securities. Track your convertible notes and your safes. And keep track of what are the pre-money caps and what implications do those have for additional shares, additional dilution. Keep track of the discounts, you know, for the same reason. Keep that information in front of you so that you're aware of how much money will be converting in the future when you do that priced round. If you keep track, you won't get surprised. Mistake number two is kind of related to mistake number one, but instead of having so much funding from convertible securities that you get surprised by the dilution you're going to get, it's surprising your future investor, the, the investors in that Series A that are going to convert the safes and the convertible notes. If you have too much money in convertible securities, say multiple millions of dollars, and then you go try to raise, say, a couple of million dollars from uh, a Series A, well, that's potentially a lot of dilution that the Series A investors are looking at when all of that safe money converts or all of those convertible notes converts. That can really put them off and make them a lot less motivated to do a priced round. So be careful about the dilution you're going to cause your future investors. What can you do to manage that? Well, what you can do is be proactive, develop a funding strategy. Think through how much money do you need to raise through your convertible securities, whether that's uh, safes or convertible notes. What milestones will you hit with those uh, funds? And how will that increase your value so you'll be ready then to do a priced round at a higher valuation, probably a larger round, so that the size of that round makes sense compared to the size of the safe money that you've closed. If you think it through, be proactive and plan your funding strategy, you won't get surprised with that issue with your Series A investors where you got too much in the way of convertible securities and too small of a Series A round. Mistake number three is not understanding that there are different ways that convertible securities can convert in a Series A investment. And those different ways can have very different impacts on your dilution as a, as a founder. So some quick examples. Uh, it's very common uh, in one scenario for a Series A investor to say, we want you to issue some options before we invest. So it increases the number of, uh, of shares in a fully diluted uh, case for your company. And then when we invest, we won't get diluted by those shares. The founders will. Uh, but then we're okay with uh, converting the other investors, your convertible uh, securities, uh, on top of that. And yeah, that'll dilute us and it'll dilute the founders both. That's one scenario. But another scenario that protects the Series A investors much more strongly, if they have a strong enough negotiating position, is that they want to see a fixed percentage of shares going to an option pool and a fixed percentage of shares owned by the Series A investors at the end of the investment after all of the uh, convertible securities convert. So in other words, they want the founders not only to absorb uh, the impact of the dilution from the option pool, but they want them to absorb the dilution from converting all of those convertible securities. Needless to say, that's a great deal for the Series A investors, not such a great deal for the founders. But it all comes down to a negotiation. How much negotiating power does the Series A investor have versus the founders? If you have a lot of people ready to invest in your company, you can probably negotiate a better deal. If you're about to run out of money and you have one Series A investor willing to invest, they probably have a lot more negotiating power. So it all comes down to negotiation. So what can you do to avoid that mistake? Well, do your homework so at least you're prepared. You understand these different approaches and you understand the different 
impact on the founders of uh, the dilution of the different approaches. And of course, there are a lot of options in between those that you might be able to negotiate. So do your homework and understand what your options are. We're going to help with that in the next video. We'll walk through those two specific scenarios we talked about with a spreadsheet that you can download and show exactly how dilution works in those two different situations with either a convertible note or a pre-money safe. So this might be a good time to click the subscribe button and click the bell for a notification of our next video so you don't miss that. So that's a wrap for our discussion of the three mistakes that increase your dilution. Good thing to avoid. If this was helpful, please click the like and share it. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions or feedback. And again, please hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified when we have our next video. Because again, that next video will describe exactly how the dilution works in those two scenarios and provide you with a downloadable spreadsheet so you can play around with your own numbers for your own convertible note or safe. And you'll see a link to the playlist that'll have that next video in it as soon as it's available right below me. So it's easy to check it out. That's it for now. Thank you very much for watching.